Hello SOLIDWORKS Power Users, this is Alim Vergato from Trimax Solutions with another tech tip focused on maximizing your productivity while working as much as possible only in the graphics area. In this case, the user wanted to create a process, to define a process in drawings by creating different display states on how to put an assembly like this together. And you notice that there are different display states like step one, step two, step three, and so on and so forth. Uh, going all the way to having the whole assembly fully defined. How is this possible and how can it be made even better? So let's talk about the isolate tool in SOLIDWORKS. Many of us are familiar with the fact that you can select one entity or more, uh, right click and go to the isolate command, right? So you can see only this specific component. You can look at it. A very uh, nice way to declutter the graphics area. And at any time you can go exit isolate, right? Uh, one thing that uh, I can tell you, I'm using it so much that I actually created keyboard shortcuts for the isolate command. So if I look for the word isolate, notice I'm using I and O, I to uh, get inside the isolate command, O to exit in and out. Feel free to do that uh, yourself. You can attach it to mouse gestures. I mean, there are so many other ways we can uh, get to the isolate command. One thing that I'm not sure if everybody knows, but you can use this tool to highlight a component or multiple components inside the document. So let me highlight something that's inside the assembly, maybe batteries that make this flash slide work. If you remember from my previous video, you can use the uh, magnifying glass with its X-ray functionality for selecting something internal. Let's try that. I'm going to start, start by pressing the G key to find uh, the magnifying glass, hold down the Alt key, spin the wheel. And notice I can select, let's say, this battery quite easily, and then let's run the isolate command. Now, what I want to do with this is actually highlight it. So I need to show the rest of the components of the assembly. Notice here options. Maybe use the option transparent for the rest, or even, even more pronounced wireframe. And then this is the golden button that allows you to create a new display state at will. So I'm just going to press the save button. I'm going to call it highlighted battery. Right? Click OK. Exit isolate. Let's see what happens. Did, do I have a brand new display state here called highlighted battery? Yes, I do. OK, what about creating that sequence of display states describing how this part is going to be put together? So let's start with the isolate command. Like we described before, I'm going to press this button and let's call this uh, step one. And without getting out of the isolate, let's use the tools that I showed you in the previous videos. Um, using the tab key, shift tab and control shift tab to control the visibility of the hidden components. So I'm going to hold down control shift and tab. And what do you see right now? Everything that was invisible become, became visible again and allow me to select this part. So now this becomes visible. I'm going to release Control, Shift, and Tab. What do you see? Save button again, right? So this is going to be step two. Let's do it again. Control, Shift, and Tab. There is a little pin here. I'm going to select it. Becomes visible. You can see it right there. Save, step four, or step three, sorry. <laughs> and let's do one more thing with the battery. So Control, Shift, and Tab. The question is, how do I get the batteries? Uh, because the cover is on the way, right? So if I click here, notice how nice SOLIDWORKS goes to the um, component that is the furthest away from me for selection. I release Control, Shift, and Tab, keep the Save button, Step 4, and keep going all the way to the end. So you saw several things today. So running everything that we discussed so far kind of put together. Isolate, use uh, keyboard shortcuts if you so desire. Take advantage of the fact that you can display the rest of the components as wireframe or as uh, transparent, and also the fact that you can save new display states. Thank you very much. Try to integrate these techniques in your workflows.